had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad, Dad was, was proud. He didn't care how. Good day, nerds. Welcome to the Multiverse of Entertainment podcast. This is the podcast where we dive into the world of TV and movies into the multiverse and we check out the good, the bad, and somewhat ugly things we've seen over the years. My name is James. Welcome in. And today is episode 24. And it's not the episode 24 you guys were expecting. Last week, at the end of last week's episode, I said episode 24 was going to be about Scrubs season one um i called an audible this week because i didn't think i could do a good episode of scrubs as i'm currently re-watching it currently through season one and there are a lot of episodes to get through season one so i didn't think i could do the episode justice so i called an audible and decided to flip it from episode 24 to episode 26 so now scrubs is going to be episode 26 instead of this week's episode and i've moved another tv episode to this week which if you haven't guessed by the uh song at the start by now we are talking cow and chicken if you remember this show this is one of the one of the earlier cartoon network shows along with dexter's lab samurai jack uh i am weasel as well which we'll touch on a little bit as well and a few other johnny bravo as well through that era of early, late 90s cartoons um so that's what we're going to talk about today so i hope uh you're not disappointed if you are i'm sorry uh i really tried my best to make sure i could do get enough in for the scrubs episode but we can always do the beautiful thing about the podcast is i'd rather have a great episode rather than have a really bad one after the orville episode uh, i'm determined to like have every episode from here on from then on out to be a really good episode so i didn't feel like i could do a really good episode of scrubs for you so i changed my mind swapped it over i could do that and i think anybody who's made a podcast before would appreciate me doing that and i hope you guys appreciate me doing that as well because i want to give you the very best and i'm really having fun making this episode uh, of making this podcast because i get to relive and uh relove some of the things and fall in love with some new things as well that i wouldn't necessarily fall in love with so thank you for being so so patient and thank you for being uh really good because i've had a rough week uh, well, i've had a rough week this week i've been out a busy week uh i was on holiday last week really really enjoyed myself a week off work and then i was back at work on wednesday and uh it was flat out through there so i haven't really had a chance to do anything um really and uh you know i'm getting up coming home from work having food and then going to bed so like kind of when you work 12 hour shifts uh it's really really tough really really tough and uh and considering i'm recording this now on sunday and the episode is dropping by the time you're hearing this on monday i've actually recorded this the day before which was the sunday so literally scrambling to do episode 20 24 and had to make some changes last minute so appreciate you guys listening each and every week appreciate you guys listening this week i do love it every time you guys come in i thank you for the feedback as well i do get comments here and there of uh listeners or friends as well who say they are really enjoying the podcast and uh some some of you guys have uh apologized to me as well oh i haven't i i've only just started watching i need to catch up so it's fine carry on it's it's there i mean we're 20 as of today we're 24 episodes deep so you got a lot of episodes coming up really really well um and also, uh, just to let you guys know, uh, my personal YouTube channel is up now. So all the episodes of the Multiverse of Entertainment from episode one all the way to episode 23 are all up there now. Uh, I will give you the plug of the YouTube channel at the end, as I always do. And it's in the link below. There's a link to all my social medias below in the description as well. So I do appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for listening. Without further ado, Without further ado, without further ado, I'm cutting that in, I'm leaving that in. As you know, I like to keep my flips and whatnot in here. 
uh we're gonna talk about cow chicken which orig which originally piloted on cartoon network for what a cartoon which would eventually become cartoon cartoon on november 12th 1995 and first aired as a season first proper episode aired july 15th 1997 and last aired on our tvs august 13th 1999 enjoy the episode guys let's go hello it's me the warden <laughs> well well if it isn't all red having trouble adjusting to prison life i'm not red i'm chicken and i gotta be home by eight or i'm in big trouble Anyhow, Mom is making pork butts and taties. She only makes it on Tuesdays. It's my favorite. Oh, I didn't realize that, Red. And you're not really Red, are you? You're a little lost chicken, aren't you? Let's clear all this up. You and I will talk to the boys right now. <laughs> oh, very nostalgic hearing all that. All that, uh... That voice acting, the voice of the characters and whatnot of this show. Um, Cow and Chicken, I mean, wow. Uh, talk about a throwback. Uh, I mean, if you, if you grew up in the 90s, I think I say this with a lot of these cartoons, really. If you grew up in these sort of eras, you would know these cartoons. If you're not, um, Cow and Chicken for me was kind of like one of those staple cartoon shows where storyline was basic it was it was surreal humor comedy uh slapstick slick life uh sitcom you know animated sitcom uh which only had like episodes which were like 22 minutes long and then you had like other shows attached to it like uh i am weasel same with dex's lab you had De you know you had dex's lab and you had um uh dial m for monkey and various other characters as well so cartoon network were not afraid to allow these cartoons to come out and some of them would you know some of them would give like a bit of like a few innuendos that kids wouldn't necessarily get um i don't think you probably could get away with it with cartoons today um especially in the you know the climate that we all live in these days where you can't you're afraid to say something and you're afraid that somebody will turn it into something else you know um you know you know and uh yeah this is like this is and this is like a random show as well like a very very random show um brief description cow and chicken is an, an is an american animated comedy tv series kit created by David Friss, uh, David Fiss, or uh, Cartoon Network, and distri and distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic TV Distribution. Uh, it's the third of the network's cartoon cartoon. It follows a surreal adventure of two talking animal siblings, cow and chicken. Uh, they are often uh, an they're often antagonized by the red guy who is the cartoon version of the devil who poses a various who poses as various characters to scam them uh the original <laughs> i'll talk about the red guy in a minute uh the original plot appeared as an episode of animated series uh, of an animation showcase series what a cartoon the the pot uh oh i can't even say that the popularity of the original short allowed hannah barbera We'll get to that name in a bit. You might know that name. Uh, Hannah Mary gave it gave it the green light for a full series, which premiered July fifteenth, nineteen ninety seven. Originally, Cow Chicken was attached to another segment called I Am Weasel. Oh, really? I thought I Am Weasel was connected to Cow and Chicken. Oh well, well, that's something I didn't know. Oh wait, let me read that again. Cow and Chicken was attached to another segment called. I am is oh yeah, I am is was connected, which was later, which was later spun spun off into its own half hour series uh, on July tenth, nineteen ninety nine, which we'll talk about another day. 
The series was produced by Hanna Barbera Cartoons. In fact, along with I Am Weasel, it was the last original Cartoon Network show to be entirely produced by Hanna Barbera Cartoons. And it was a nom nominated for two Emmy Awards, which is news to me. So you've got a lot of credential by it, behind it, right? To make it a successful TV show. You know, Cartoon Network was behind it, obviously. Warner Brothers was behind it. And hannah barbera uh produced it as well if you don't know who hannah barbera is if you've been hiding behind the rock they produced some of the most famous cartoons uh throughout the decades including scooby-doo uh top cat platypus um not platypus snuggle puss uh flintstones as well uh i think was it ghost as well ghost uh, and a few other cartoons as well of that era and it, it shows the style of what Hanna Barbera was trying to produce and what everybody else was working together to become um there was a lot of writers on this uh if you look on the wikipedia page there is about at least 20 20 names on there and I'm trying to look through the names who I think is on there and one of the people I shit you not, one of the people that shout out shouts out through this is a very young or oh, well not young, well probably young at this point, uh Seth McFarlane. Seth McFarlane keeps popping up on these shows. So if you love Family Guy, you know, you can attest Family Guy to like some of these cartoons back in the day, the cartoon the early cartoon network days, you know? And it, it's really crazy that his name keeps popping up i know he's he, he's he's there like you know he's done some of the stories for the show you know that's what he's down for and you know there's a lot there's a lot of great a lot of great writers on here as well scott morse uh steve manel uh and there's another one larry huber as well so there's a lot of good a lot of fantastic writers on this on this show and only one person created it. It's just Dave Fiss, right? I'm probably saying that name wrong, but I'm going as it is. Don't sue me. And there's only four, three voice actors, along with a few guest actors. Uh, Charlie Adler. Uh, Charlie Adler, which I think is a guy. Let me double check. Yeah, Charlie Adler. Uh, Charlie Adler, he's... Oh, my God. He's voiced some of the... Uh, oh god uh he's voiced buster bunny i hate buster bunny from tiny tunes i fucking hate buster bunny uh i know he probably won't read this at at this point but adam from remember the game if you listen to this sorry dude but fucking buster bunny could go suck a nut i'm gonna tell you right this right now um he's also voiced uh you know uh earthworm he's, vo he's voiced in earthworm earthworm jim uh i am weasel as well uh, he's voiced Starscream as well in the Transformer films. And uh, yeah, all around a really, really good, fantastic, credible voice actor. And he does pretty much all the voices for the, the characters. He voices Cow, he voices Chicken, he voices the uh, the red guy who's the devil. Uh, I'll get onto that later on as well. Um, so the... The series is pretty much, uh, the series focuses on the misadventures of two unlikely yet somehow biological siblings, which is actually quite tongue-in-cheek. Uh, the sweet nature dim, uh, <laughs> athromorphic cow and a cynical brother, chicken, both voiced by Charlie Adler. The two are often caught in escapades with the flamboyant enemy, the red guy, uh, also known as the devil, a comical, a comical version of the devil himself, who disguises himself under various personas, usually either to scam everyone or just to have fun. Uh, however, he once tried to take Chicken to hell, which was in the pilot episode, as far as I was aware. Uh, supporting supporting characters included Cow Chicken's delicious human parents, mom and dad, voiced by uh d bradley baker and cindy milo respectively 
only seeing that the waist only seen from the waist down and it has implied <laughs> has implied and implied to have no torso head or arms which by the way they did uh prove that in the first episode i saw that the pair you know how chicory did food the pet mum and dad were like having fun you know ha, 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 ha. and then the camera pans out and it's just the weight it's just the parents from the waist down which is quite creepy but it's also funny as hell as well because it's like how the hell does this happen you know it doesn't it doesn't make sense the show is not meant to make sense it's just a cartoon for fuck's sake um also as well you've got uh chicken cow now this i didn't know and this is a really surprise for me and a lot of you are going to be surprised by this as well cow and chicken uh chicken's best friends Flem and earl are played by Flem is played a voice by howard morris and earl earl is voiced by you'd never guess who i'll give you five uh, five seconds to guess It was Homer Simpson himself, Dan Castellaneta, which I had no idea. I'm going to have to look back at the episodes again and just go, oh, you know, Earl is Homer Simpson. So that's something I didn't know, which is really, really awesome. And there, and their cousins, uh, Boneless Chicken. <laughs> uh, cow, cow has a favorite doll, Crabs the Warthog, uh, Piles the Beaver, and uh maurice the bear who is a polar bear uh, you know th this game this this game this uh this show is just so hilarious it's it's so funny and it, it it's just slapstick humor you know i know not everybody likes slapstick humor not everybody likes slapstick comedy um if you like bot you know if you like the comedies like bot them and young ones which by the way i will be doing episodes of I uh, don't know when I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to uh, buy them on DVD or something and then what rewatch them because I've only seen snippets of them here and there. But I have seen the live shows of both of them, which uh, uh, I will touch on one day. Um, and, you know, a lot of people don't like slapstick stuff, but I love slapstick comedy. I think slapstick comedy is one of those uh, classic uh, comedy shows that we just don't get anymore and i think it, especially in british uh comedy where you had a lot of that with a lot of famous uh comedy duos back in the day uh Malcolm and wise comes to mind for some reason and uh i wouldn't say ronnie baker i wouldn't say the two ronnies i don't think they ever did slapstick comedies but probably like you know Morgan Wise uh, bought them as well uh, with uh, uh, Rick Mayo and Ed Ed uh, Edison as well, which was uh, Edmondson, sorry, which was pretty cool. Excuse me, I'm adjusting myself here. And I I think this market these days or slaps the comedy to come back. Mind you, mind you that all the Karens and all the Kevins of the world don't... Uh, start popping up going oh we can't have this it's violence against children and, uh, and all that shit like fuck off you know what i mean stuff like stuff like stuff slap, slaps the comedy is just it's one of those comedy staples which we all need to have back again and i think you all agree with this i hope so anyway put it in the comments below but anyway moving on i got a little bit of a tangent then sorry guys um so the production of the show, uh, there's a lot of stuff going into this. I know the regulars. This is not a ranking episode, by the way. Uh, I'm not doing a ranking episode. I usually do a ranking episode. Um, but this week, it's like, I, I can't half remember the shows. And I haven't had time to, like, look back at some of the episodes. I'm just going off it by memory and research. I hope you guys are enjoying some of you were probably like, oh, I didn't know Seth MacFarlane with this. Uh, uh, some people who've talked to me about certain episodes have said, I didn't know Seth MacFarlane worked with this. And I was like, I know. Neither did I. You know? Crazy. Um, so, the production of the development, uh, David F uh, Fies Fiesis? Is it Fiesis? F-E-I-S-S. -S. I hope I said it right. Uh, first created Coward Chicken as a storyline, as a story for his daughter. 
this was an animator who had worked with Hanna Barbera and projects since 1978, a very long time. Years later, was he was caught. He was called to submit ideas for what a cartoon, a series of various cartoon shorts, which are from numerous creators and writers, created by Hanna Barbera's president Fred Sherbet. Sh uh, oh, I can't fucking say that right. Uh, this, uh thesis i think it's thesis i don't i don't know submitted three ideas to executive producer larry huber one of which was cow and chicken cow and chicken premiered a water cartoon in 1995 later hannah barbara decided to turn cow and chicken into a full-blown series following many letters from fans asking for more <laughs> voice actor included single a single actor uh charlie adler and voiced three other leading roles for cow and chicken and the red guy supporting voices included as we've already discussed uh cindy Mi cindy milo uh d bradley baker as mom and dad they're literally called mom and dad dan castellaneta howard morris as earl and phlegm and guest stars included uh oh oh okay guest stars listen to this now guys guest stars included Miss him to see himself, Will Farrell, Carl oh God, Carlos Aloquette. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Uh, Tom Kelly, Jill Telly, uh, Dom DeLucy, Dom DeLucy, Michael Goff, Mark Hamill, Jess Hennel, and many, many more. See, uh, now I didn't even know that either, and I'm I'm like re I've been researching this show, and I'm like, wow, this is great. Yeah, so Cow and Chicken, so Cow and Chicken, uh, was like, that's how popular Cow and Chicken was as well. How they were, you know, how great some of the act voice acting was in the show, how great, smartly written the show was as well. Obviously, it petered out. Um, later on. I think by the time uh, the turn of the millennium was coming around, there were different cartoons coming out at the time, uh, which were not so much slapstick, but they were more um, smartly written, shall we say. And I think by that time, my, my love for cartoons was starting to fade out a little bit. Um, obviously, it's just, you know, you had this, you had Texas Lab, Ed and Neddy. I uh, still had Scooby Doo run in as well and uh you know tom and jerry and others so you had a, growing up in the 90s uh you know in the 90s early 2000s you had a shit ton of cartoons which you would really really love right um and obviously it came to an end uh august 13th 1999 which was sad to see because cow and chicken was like a staple for everybody for uh, kids back in the day to watch cartoons and uh you know my parents used to think cartoon cartoons when we were growing up uh when i was growing up were stupid and like you know ridiculous and whatnot um it's just because i would you know it's just because our tvs were better back in the 90s compared to like the eight seventies and 80s you know, my mum and dad grew up i'm just saying i love my mum and dad's pieces but mum and dad you guys had really bad tv best cartoon you had was like probably the professionals which wasn't even a cartoon so <laughs> no i love them both um but yeah cow and chicken for me uh really really good show uh a lot of laughs especially with the introduction then of i am weasel i not too sure if they did a crossover episode with cow and chicken and i am weasel but my god uh what a great show really really good uh the devil i didn't talk about the devil oh uh, well the red guy <laughs> it's funny because the first episode uh you know you got cow and chicken just being cow and chicken and all of a sudden you go to hell which i don't think was ever done in cartoons before and you just see this devil got this got red guy come up and go hello it's me the devil and it starts doing this monologue and then tries to like go through like again tries to scam you know takes it tries to take chicken to hell i think he did manage to take him to hell but then i think cow then has an alter ego called super cow 
uh which is quite funny because for some reason cow goes down all spanish and whatnot which is hilarious foils the devil and saves chicken obviously and whatnot and then you know the devil the devil like when i was growing up he was known as the devil but then obviously i think you know I think all the Bible bashing uh, mothers out there who saw their kids watching the show were like, we can't have the show. We can't. My children cannot have a show na- with a character named after the devil himself. So you can imagine all the angry letters of Karen's being like, I will not my, let my kids watch the show that has the devil on it. And they've just kind of gone, uh, what should we call the God? What should we call the devil then? Uh, instead of actually referring him as the devil even though he looks like the devil acts like the devil and is the devil as somebody's just gone hmm let me just call him the red guy perfect we'll do that the red guy who happened to look like the devil and then obviously he doing the different personas and uh, and whatnot which is hilarious which is even funnier and uh yeah and, and it's just got it's just got ridiculous and the funny thing <laughs> i think the punchline with the devil is that whenever he puts clothes on he always 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 has his ass out which i don't know if that is meant to happen or whether it's a kick but it's fucking hilarious because he's like i'm wearing this i look great in this and he turns around and it's like it's like I don't, you don't, you're not wearing any trousers. I don't care. Oh, that's great. It's so funny. It's his ass just everywhere. And that's all you see is his ass. You don't see anything else. Um, I think, I think everybody would be traumatized if, uh, <laughs> if, uh, his bare ass was showing all the time. But yeah, uh, the show was like really, really cool. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, growing up. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well while you were growing up. Let me know. Uh, what do you think of the show? And the the composer of the the of the theme song as well is called Moon Guy, and <laughs> it's great. That's a great, you know when you got a guy named Moon Guy who does the music for the show, it's it's going to be awesome. The show lasted only four seasons and only had fifty two episodes, which was one hundred and four segments in total. And it was nominated for a lot of awards as well, which is really, really awesome. So uh, another remnant of my childhood growing up. And I think many of you guys who remember this was would would be like, oh, yeah, this is so good. This is so much fun. So I um, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's to the outro music of the show. And uh, we'll do the outro and then get out of here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> that's it everybody that was episode 24 of the multiverse of entertainment podcast where we covered cow and chicken i do appreciate you guys listening each and every week thank you very much for tuning in hope this uh detour wasn't too bad for you guys i hope this brought a lot of nostalgia um like i said scrubs will be on episode 26 instead of this week so be prepared for that episode in two weeks time and if you want to keep up to date uh this, this was kind of like a last minute change as well so thank you very much for uh tuning in i do appreciate it uh if you want to keep up to date with everything uh to do with the multiverse entertainment or myself there is the link is below on our uh on our description here you can find us on instagram at multiverse of entertainment pod uh you can also find us on tiktok at mo podcast as well that's the podcast version you can also find me on instagram on tiktok on youtube or at it it's that nerd james it's the 
it it's is with a z go check us out there i will get these right sooner rather than later and announcing today uh i will be returning on i will be coming on twitch soon uh i'm looking to probably start it uh this week sometime so be prepared for all my social medias to uh show you where i am on that and uh do prepare for that you can also fight i think i've already said this already i'll double check i'm not good at this outro stuff i'm no good at it i should 24 episodes deep you think i should be good at it by now you can find you can find me on youtube as well at it's that nerd james where the multiverse of Entropy podcast is on there as well you can also check out my, my retro gaming series retro mania on there as well my modern game uh my modern game videos are coming up soon called modern mania i know original right uh-huh. uh so i expect a lot of content on my youtube should come up with that subscribe to that it's free you can also listen to the multiverse entertainment podcast on audio form as well at uh spotify apple podcast google podcast amazon music yes we're on amazon music uh pretty much everywhere you can also google us as well type in the multiverse of entertainment podcast and it should come up as our first search it did uh on the pc the other day you will see the multiverse of entertainment in simpsons tv with my beautiful name underneath it you can check us out there um next week we are episode 25 we are episode 25 and this is going to be a good one my buddy sassy by clarence is joining me is returning to the show and we are talking about the william shakespeare 1996 movie of romeo and juliet starring leonardo dicaprio the modern day romeo and juliet this one is going to be a fun one to talk about because this is one of my favorite films of all time and one of sassy bear's favorite films of all time as well as far as i'm aware or he might not he'll tune in next week uh so tune in next week enjoy the rest of your week i'm gonna edit this up and load it up for you right now getting ready for monday have a good one guys see you next week let's rock us to the outro theme that we all love so much Let's go and stay nerdy. Let's go.